Okay, y'all, I'm going to show y'all how to get one of these SkyPass visas, one of the only secure credit cards that you could get with bad credit that allows you to earn flight miles. It's a little process, and if you don't do it the right way, you could be unnecessarily denied. So let's get right to it. If you find this content viable, please do me a favor, like, comment, and share so we can help as many people achieve their financial goals. Now let's get to the information. Okay, y'all. So we're going to talk about the SkyPass Visa. Um, if you check out my other video, the Bad Credit Trifecta should be up here. You could click on it and check it out if you haven't done so already. But this was one of the cards that I recommend if you have bad credit because the, the bank that issues this card is actually U.S. Bank. And their underwriting guidelines for secure credit cards is very forgivable. Unlike other credit cards, secure cards that may decline you because you have charge-offs and write-offs and things like that, U.S. Bank will actually still issue you a security card a secure card in most case scenarios um, I'm not sure what the max limit is but I know personally I had a charge off from a different institution and I was still able to get a secure card from US Bank so that is a real good look on their part so the minimum deposit is $300 but you could go all the way up to about $5,000 now if you check out my other video <laughs> You would learn how to maximize the reward system on any credit card and basically it's just paying the, you know using the card and paying it on time but having a systematic way of doing it I have a whole video about it but if you do it correctly you could rack up a lot of flight miles with this card and like i said this is one of the only secure credit cards that give you flight miles with this card is is issued through korean airlines so korean airlines is actually the the uh people who came up with this card you know u.s bank is who they go through but it's do it's korea airlines nonetheless and korea airline obviously is an international airline so most of their flights that you could book through their booking system is going to be international flights it's going to be you know to like south korea obviously taiwan guam indonesia india asian countries asian countries basically so if you're planning on taking a trip out there you know this is the perfect card uh they from what i've seen it didn't have too many domestic flights within the u.s or anywhere else it was just mostly asian countries and some european countries i believe so this is great for international travel but you know like i said this is just to build a relationship with u.s bank and u.s bank is a national bank brand here in the united states so by you building a relationship with us bank you're going to basically have access to a whole bunch of variety of different credit cards and i know us bank flight credit cards do have domestic travel so you will be able to upgrade to that at one point in time you know by building this relationship by using this credit card and paying it on time and paying it in full you are going to be building a great relationship with them and that is very important for you if you have bad credit is to build a proper relationship with these financial institutions so they could learn to trust you but this credit card it actually is a little process um when applying for it and if you do it wrong you could potentially get the client for this us for this uh sky pass visa so let's get to how to actually properly apply for this the sky pass visa let's go okay y'all are y'all ready let's get this okay so we're going to start out with google right and then in google we're just going to type in we're just going to go ahead to we're going to type in sky pass secure credit card um normally is the first search result up top so i'm gonna just click that so this is the secure credit card remember it's 50 dollar annual fee um but that's okay so right now we want to go all the way up here at the top it says join sky pass that's the first thing we want to do before we apply for the card because when you apply for the card it's going to ask you for a sky pass number and you're not going to have that unless you join sky pass first so go ahead and click join sky pass it's just letting you know that you're leaving the this website and going to a different website which will be koreanair.com so here you go you want to click login right here up top and from here it's going to ask you for your username and password obviously you don't have one so you want to hit sign up 
so right here is the x you to agree to all the stuff i mean it's up to you if you want to agree to you know the third party vendor policy in the market and the advertisement it doesn't do no harm but it's totally optional but the terms and condition and the privacy policy is not optional so go ahead and, and check that and then hit confirm and then it's going to ask you do you have a sky pass number or do you not have a sky pass number it, obviously you don't have a sky pass number so let's go ahead and click that it's going to ask you for your basic information you're basically making a login and after you are finished and confirm it will then the next page will give you your sky pass number or it was emailed to you either or you will have a sky pass number and then you could go right back to the uh to the SkyPass website, SkyPass Visa, make sure it's the secure card. They do have other credit cards that is not a secure card, but if you have bad credit, you want to go with the secure card first. And then you could go ahead and apply for this card. Um, you know, it's going to say it's different methods of getting started. You want to do it online for the most part. And then you make sure you enter your SkyPass number at the beginning. Uh, because the thing is, if you do not enter your SkyPass number, they they may decline you because you're supposed to have a SkyPass number to get this SkyPass card. <laughs> so that's actually something that I is optional. It doesn't make you do it. But um, when I first applied, I basically didn't have a SkyPass number. And when I, I, I called up to US Bank to see what the status was with my application, and they said, do you have a sky pass number and i said no and she said oh well it might get declined because you're supposed to have a sky pass number and i freaked out and and was like how do i do it she said it's free just go to you know go to the korean air website and get you a sky pass number so that's what i did well it's, actually she made me call with them and i spoke to them and then they told me how to do it so you know you don't have to go through all that then you could just go ahead and get your sky pass number and have it all up front another thing i want to tell you about is that it doesn't get approved right away so a lot of people get discouraged by not just the sky pass card but also the us bank secure card because at the end of the process because at the end of the process it tells them that they you know their application has been received and you know they'll give them a call or something like that they'll send them some mail or something like that it's not an instant approval okay so do not worry it takes about three to four weeks for them to approve your application a good indication of them approving your application is when the money come out of your bank account so whatever the security deposit is it may take like a week for them to actually get the money out your bank account so make sure you have that money in your bank account but when they do take the money out, um, that's a good indication that you was approved. But it does take like another week or two weeks for them to go ahead and approve it and send you your card after they get your deposit. So just keep that in mind. Okay, y'all. So that's how you apply for the SkyPass Visa properly. Hopefully it saves you a lot of time on the phone with US Bank and Korean Airline. You just saved a whole bunch of time by watching this video and learning how to do it right the first time okay so if you like content like this please like comment subscribe and share because most people don't know about this information and this is very helpful for people trying to get back and on their financial feet and do things that they have to do to live life that they want to live okay so this is daquan with credit monster see y'all on the next one peace